Cuties, the Chapter 15 banner dropped last week and is now running alongside the reprints of the Chapter 14 banners. Quick note, I've finally, finally unlocked the Chapter 14 Blossom Farms and have split the free quest criterion accordingly, one subreading for each of the four farms. Now let's see if the old will make way for the new and recognize these units as the game's new masters. Oh my god, bro. Oh. Don't use Baphomet. Low range, damage amp, damage mint, and charge denial if they move. Active sabotage of your team if they don't. Baphomet takes on a very unclear role, dueling through single target disruption rather than through boss killing. Now they're good for farming nor for challenges. They hold their identity crisis out very visibly. Coco in a game where reliable quick clearing is becoming more and more commonplace, we can see a bizarre phenomenon where a class of units designed around luck refuses to stop growing. Poco Pelli is the latest among this, applying a chance of several stacks of defense mint on all enemies for each time they're hit. The statistical gameplay does not stop there, with early rate up, rate down denial, and a low rate dodge. His utility in farming is crickets all around, but if you believe in what Life Wonders is cooking. He and others like him may be the future answer to challenges. Sonzo. Is this the Lian killer for hypercarry sports we've been waiting for? While Sanzo lacks extended movement and applies half as much damage amp, he compensates by working entirely passively while also applying defense, healing, and debuff mitt. Rogan's lured by a certain rumor surrounding this Buddhist student will experience nihility, dropping their damage and defense while blocking their skills. Though not the strongest for farming, Sanzo is a staple for carrying quests paired with any damage dealer. Let's return the favor and help him carry his own child to term. Oh my god, what is that damage? The renowned Archangel swoops into battle to deliver divine judgment, smiting the entire front line for over 150,000 damage and dealing extreme punishment of over 10 million damage with his faith fully empowered. Specialized in quick and decisive victories, Mikhail isn't suited for longer battles, falling off after the first four turns. Those sentenced in his presence may also find themselves robbed of their willpower to continue their heresies. His merciless retribution almost completely overshadows his blessings to the innocent, cleansing their afflictions while energizing the passive among them. Secure Mikhail on your side as the first long slash slayer that can reach the center frontline immediately to enjoy an exclusive highly desired advantage in farming. Forget battle between good and evil. You'll only be getting a complete slaughter here. The hyena of hysteria resurfaces with a demented scheme. Rather than promising sheer power to overcome obstacles, Neolathotep wards off all banes and teleports to prospective worshippers, proselytizing methods of withering enemies away through duplicitously sapping their health at a reckless range. The blessing of his insidious cunning inevitably energizes his cult, who temporarily transcend into an elusive state to heal in safety. A scourge will be meted out to infidels, who now cannot escape from a mad air, draining their strength, energy, and blessings. And should Nyarlathotep be endangered, his congregation will ravenously assault his dissidents, should his ward ever fail in the unlikeliest of circumstances. His faith promises clarity and chaos, usable in farming and challenges. It might just be time to convert. Let's take a brief look at the ARs featured as the campaign reaches its last mile. Alright, let's cut to the chase. Never has there ever been a chapter banner on release with such an extremely strong selection. <laughs> Poison Apple aside, both of the 5 stars will grant you cutting edge advantage in the game, and Sanzo will likely stand as a staple plug in and win unit for novice players. Just remember he's a tame little adversary. Summer aside, and Summer 2 Electric Bugloo aside, you should definitely pull on this banner, and should pick it over the other two presently rerunning Phenomenal Chapter 14 banners. The Chapter 15 banner is just that godlike. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time! <laughs>